So this is my review of the Shanzhen Pocket 6. It is a pocket pen. I use this is a number six name. And so this one is made of brass, but they have other models in aluminium, uh, loads of colors and models or uh, you know, different bodies and just hammered. And it's very nice, very, very, very beautiful. Then the overall quality is well, it's the pen indestructible, made of brass. Come on. Uh, one and a half turn to uncap. One and that more turn to screw on the back, and you have a full size pen. Uh, the pen sports a number six block nib, and it is a nice pen. It is a nib. Focus, focus. Or, you know, another six block nib. Uh, the pen is heavy, 47 grams, and, but it's made of brass, so expected. Uh, let's see what I like of this pen. It's an indestructible pen. The section is great uh, it's really really, really nice uh, I hold it perfectly here uh, it doesn't slip it doesn't you know the threads are there but, but they are that sharp so you can hold it on the threads if you hold that back there's no problem the overall quality of then is great it's very minimalistic you know not so much you know, detail stuff, there's a line in here that around the cap, threads on the back are sharper than the threads on the section, the threads on the section, uh, and that's pretty much it. What I, well, what I don't, that I don't like, but you have to live with, is that you only takes short cartridges or even a cackle sport converter will fit in here maybe the squeeze converter probably the squeeze converter will fit but again i, I don't have one i couldn't try uh, uh, the nib is uh, good well turned Oops. you know right side of the box that box came with it came inside the box but it's that a few things that i need to mention uh is that it's not quick notes pen because you know one and a half turn put in the back screw again by the time you finish assembling the pen the notes time already uh it's not like a cover sport where you can just you know pick a sport you unscrew done that's a quick note spin well you just put it back blend a turn and it's secure well so this one it takes you Whoops! <laughs> it takes one turn. I have to be careful of the, if this falls in my keyboard, my break my keyboard is so heavy. And yeah, a three quarters of a turn in the back, but one and turn and a quarter in the front. So it takes longer than it should to assemble them. 
to be a quick notes pen. Oh, apart from that, it is a nice pen. It's a very nice pen. Uh, it's an expensive pen. You can get a Kaveco Supra. It is made of brass for like 100 pounds less than this one. This one costs $250 plus, you know, VAT and import fees and Royal Mail Ransom to deliver to you. And whilst the Kaveco Supra in brass will cost you around 150 pounds. Another six nib and the Supra you have the advantage of adding a extension to the bar to make to make you able to use you know standard and national converters. That makes gives you you know it's a whole new world of a pen. Uh, whereas this probably only the Kaveco squeeze converter will fit in here. But it's a nice and indestructible pen, and you have to consider if you like pocket pens, if you like brass pens, uh, might be for you. Uh, I'm not gonna be having, you know, buying one. I'm not gonna be buying one of these. Uh, my pocket pens are Kaveco pens, Kaveco Sports. I have one, two, I have three of them, one in aluminium and to plastic, the mint, and this lavender. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, let's go with the writing sample, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. So, this is the... I don't know, I'm butchering the name of this pen, of course. Uh, Puppet 6. In solid brass. The ink is Robert Oster Orange for bright sunny feeling on this cold winter day. And well, it's a Yuva nib, come on, it's a great nib. As I said, the section is really good. So, you know, pack my bags. With a dozen of jugs. Those are big bags. And well, my favorite phrase Be Like Water by Bruce Lee. This is a, it's a great nib the section is. Really good, very nice to use, and yeah, the threads are a bit sharp though, I have to say, if you hold the pen on the back here, you're gonna have problems, and if you hold in here, like, in the correct, in the correct, I can't write print anymore. <laughs> The correct it doesn't exist the correct way to hold the pen but if you hold the halves they think it should it's more comfortable but it's a heavy pen to me again it's a question it's a matter of taste and i'll see you guys later bye bye <laughs>